It is April 3rd at uh, 4.09. I'd um, like to call to order the meeting of the Board of Assessors. Is there a motion to open? Motion open. I will second. We are in business. Um, first order of business this evening is to approve the minutes. And I'm going to put that off, Matt. You weren't at that meeting, and we don't have Lee here, so we're just going to skip right over that and go into our regular open session. And I'll turn it over to you, Kelly, to discuss the annual town meeting and the report and the deadlines. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, just a reminder that the annual town meeting is scheduled for June 3rd, 2024, at the Ford Middle School at 7 p.m. The assessors have not. Uh, entered in an article, but of course the annual meeting is where uh, the budgets are voted on for the next fiscal year, so I'd just like to give everyone a reminder. Uh, the 2022 annual report is available. I believe the town clerk's office has it available for any resident that would be interested in seeing that. And just a reminder as well, the deadline for the real estate personal exemption applications for FY 2024 was 4124. So uh, for those that do apply or have been repeat, repeat applicants, you will get notified by the assessor's office in July for the subsequent year FY 2025 applications. And we're looking to schedule the next meeting for May 8th at 4 p.m. Okay. Um, we will resume an open session after our executive session to formalize any votes taken and to bring back the minutes. Um, we, we did hear from Lee, he's just running a few minutes behind. So um, when we resume an open session, we'll take up the minutes and any other things. But we do have to go into executive session for our personal exemptions, uh, some chapter review and some abatements, as well as uh, our appointment with Deep Brook Estates, which again is basically just one abatement that we've had on the books for a couple of meetings now that we need to uh, get over so um, I'd like to have a motion to close open session and reopen in ex executive session I'll make that motion there's a motion in a second roll call vote Matt aye and myself Bob we will be in executive session and reopen back to open shortly okay we've concluded our business in executive session and we're gonna reopen our open session um, Motion. While I've got the floor, I'm just going to go back to them minutes. Uh, yeah. Motion Thank to reconvene in open session. Thanks. I'll, I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. We are back open. Well, um, go by the minutes. Want to bring up them minutes of um, January, March 6, 2024. There was two sets, open and executive. Have you had a chance to read them? Yeah. All set? Yeah. I'll make a motion to approve. We have a motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. So moved. Um, and then I'm just going to turn the floor back over to Kelly to go over all the exemptions and abatements that took place in uh, the executive session so we can vote on them, please. Okay, so for real estate, the uh, applications reviewed, MAP 10, Lot 30F, MAP 21, Lot 20C, MAP 19, Lot 167, MAP 25, Lot 108, MAP 25, Lot 23.23 ABCD, MAP 25, Lot 238, MAP 25, Lot 24, and MAP 24, Lot 4R. There was no personal property abatements for a review, and there were uh, two personal exemptions, 117D, 141C, and actually there was a new 22E as well. Also, there was uh, a review of a late filing Chapter 61B application. So, we took care of that all in executive session. Is there a motion to approve of all of those decisions? Sounds like that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Um, I don't believe there's any other business unless anybody has any new business or old business you need to discuss. Mm -hmm. We did already set our next meeting for May 8th, we'll be uh, back here at 4 o'clock. And entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. We are adjourned.